Uh, real happy, you know, coming from you know, what I came from with being in the G League last year and, you know, the opportunity that I know that I've been fighting for, you know, my whole life was to get a chance to play in the NBA and you know, having this two-way contract gives me an opportunity to do that. So it's, it's kind of like a dream come true, you know. Um, you know, I'm just thankful for the opportunity. I appreciate the Magic staff, uh, the Lakeland staff for believing in me, you know, and once again giving me this opportunity. What do you feel like you've been able to show so far? Uh, a leadership at the point guard position, um, being vocal, being, you know, the loudest person on the bench, being a team player guy, a locker room guy, you know, coming in at a young age uh, with, with veterans that's been, you know, in the league, been around the league, um, and then with the rookies and sophomores that all of us being around the same age, just being able to, you know, establish myself as somebody that people can always have a conversation with no matter what, um, not being immature, you know, showing people that, you know, being who I am, I can be mature and I can handle, you know, everything that goes on through, from the ups and downs um, and be a person that's accountable. Troy, what's the toughest part about being in the G League? The toughest part is that you play so hard uh, and you're just hoping, you know, to get a call up from whoever team and, you know, you don't know if the opportunity is going to come. All you can tell yourself is that you give it 100% every day, that you go to practice, that you work hard, and that you believe in that everybody in the front office of each team you know, is watching film and, and seeing what you can do you know, and see if it can help their team. And like I said, hoping to get that call up. Did you have some opportunities last year to go to Europe and earn more money? Uh, in, in other words, I'm, here's what I'm trying to get at. Being in the G League, it seems like you would be chasing a dream right. as opposed to uh yeah i feel i did have a little opportunity but you know being i'm only 22 right now so i'm chasing it right now i told myself i'm chasing the dream if i can get in the nba you know before 25 you know chase the dream and if i don't make it at, at 25 you know i got to go provide for myself for my family you know i'm getting older you know it's time to step up and then i would go overseas to get you know then i would do it for the money but right now you know i'm just doing it for the dream playing in the g league you know, was to start was the start of the dream to make it, you know, to the NBA. So, like I, what happens last year is over with now. This is a new summer. Um, we're going into a new season. I'm just thankful to have, you know, a two-way contract and the organization believed in me. I'm sure you were happy to see Jamel and Wes, and Jonathan, and Kim, and all those guys get called up. Well, was that hard for you seeing them get called up? And, you know what I mean? Uh. Yeah, I would. It was hard, you know, because personally, you know, everybody wants to play in the NBA, and then you, you do, you go out, give it your all. But you know, I was just very happy for them. You know, as they say, your time is coming. Everything happens for a reason. And that was something that I kept telling myself. You know, I'm not gonna get down on myself because I didn't call it. Because there's more years to come. There's more games to be played. And you know, when the door, when the opportunity knocks on the door, I just gotta be ready to open it. And I would. Regardless of what happened, you know, my guys went up. I was happy for them because that's something that we can talk about. And then yeah. I told them, I'm going to see y'all up there soon. And then once we all get up there, it's just like now. Uh -huh. You know, we all relate in the same age. And, you know, it's fun. And I'm thankful for the opportunity that I get to be with them for another year. Did Mo let the news slip out a little bit? I heard maybe he didn't let the nah, slip out or something. Nah, everybody, everybody did it. Just Mo right now has the most popping Instagram uh <laughs> on the team right now and we did it actually I did it at dinner last night um, while we was at team dinner and uh, Pete came and we was like we're going to get it done today at dinner and once I once he told me to open up the folder everybody just came around and congratulated me and you know just most Instagram is the most popping because everybody put it up there but you know hey I'm, I'm thankful so how many people were around last night at the dinner to see you sign it uh, everybody was there um, we had like a a team dinner with the people that was on the roster. Some of the vets came. Uh, AG, T. Ross, Sims, DJ. There's a lot of people there. Um, the whole front office, uh, the Lakeland staff, the media people. Not the media, yeah, the media people. Um, Becky was there. There was a lot of people there, and everybody, you know, congratulated me right after, um, you know, right before dinner, and it was just a good, a good situation, and I appreciate it. What has been? What has your phone blown up from family, friends? Uh, past teammates, past coaches? Yeah, everybody. Everybody's saying thank, thank you, you know. As they say, they, they, they believed in me. You know, a lot of people could have gave up on me. I don't know if the love is real, if the love is fake, but I'm just thankful that people, are, you know, recognize it and are acknowledging me. You know, and I'm thankful for the opportunity again. So you said you had maybe some nicknames for Mo and, and Jonathan. Have you uh, any nicknames for I called, I called John, I call him Jono. Uh -huh. uh, Jono is what I call him, and Mo, I call him Mo Beasy. Mo 
Peace. Yeah. It's just I'm a I'm a guy that's weird. You know, I got good personality. I come with a nickname for everybody. Uh, so Mo Beasy just kind of stuck. You know, and when when I get a rebound, I'd be like, Hey Beasy or Hey Hey Mo Beasy. So yeah, I got nicknames for everybody on the on the team for real. Some fans or some people call him the Mojo. How do you like that? How does that break? Uh, that's I can't say with everybody entitled to their own opinion. If they want to call him Mojo, they call him Mojo. That's he Mo Beasy for me. Okay. Yeah.